Kia ora. In October 2020, Haunted New Zealand reached out to offer assistance to five men living in a beautiful and historic home in Pukekohe, which had been rented by their employer. After just three weeks, the men were so distressed by their experiences that they approached their boss and revealed what had been happening. Unable to sleep, the men were being woken at night, slapped, touched, and even pinned to the bed by their legs. Lights would turn on and off, and footsteps were heard running up and down the corridor. They experienced strange smells, sudden drops in temperature, and were disturbed by the constant sound of ladies crying. One man heard his own name called by a disembodied voice. The previous owners, who lived in the home for 24 years, had the house blessed several times, having been terrified by a menacing, cloaked figure which told them to leave. Haunted New Zealand carried out a full, paranormal investigation of the house. To rule out any contribution from strong electromagnetic fields, a careful sweep of the entire house was made, but EMF levels were almost zero milligauss throughout. Temperature checks did not reveal any cold spots. The team did feel that there was a strange atmosphere in the house, describing the energy as heavy, causing them to have unusual sensations of anxiety in certain rooms. On a couple of occasions, some team members said that they could hear a growling noise. Barbara described a strange, tingling sensation on her leg, like a mild electric shock while seated in the lounge. She also saw a small cloud, about the size of a baseball, wispy and translucent, move across the bedroom from right to left before quickly dissipating. Kim had a similar experience when she saw a large light move from left to right in the kitchen. Communication sessions were carried out in three rooms, during which the team heard bumps and thumps coming from other parts of the house. Whilst we could not say definitively that these were paranormal in origin, some of these did seem to occur on demand. Because, um... While reviewing the audio, a number of interesting captures were found, which were not made by the team, including growls, sighs, several whispering voices, and apparently even the word sorry, heard at two different times and locations. This unknown female voice was captured by Barbara, immediately after Karen asks whether someone is moving the curtain. Are you moving the curtain? I can say up. Let's listen to that again. Yeah. Yep, I can say up. Are you moving the curtain? In another capture, after Amy says, giggles, sorry, we hear a female voice whispering, followed by a thump. Giggles, sorry. The whispered words are spoken very quickly, but seem to say something like, clearly happening now. Let's listen to that again. The team had some intriguing results with our new piece of experimental technology, the Geoport. A device intended to facilitate spirit communication. However, it seems that they may not necessarily be finding it very easy to operate. I want to know who are the spirits that are haunting this place, please. This is complicated! <laughs> I heard that! As the team warned that they were about to turn off the geoport and begin the cleansing, a REM pod located on the floor began to alarm, signalling a fluctuation in the energy field around it. Who's room pod's going Rimpod. off? Amy's, the one down there. Haunted New Zealand performed a full and thorough spiritual cleansing of the house. I banish all ills. They used methods to not only banish unwanted negative or harmful energies and spirits from the building, 
but designed also to prevent them from returning. Since then, Haunted New Zealand has learned that the cleansing was successful and that all unusual activity within the house has ceased. However, the men have since seen the ghostly figure of an angry, black-eyed woman staring into the house at them from the garden and have been disturbed by loud banging on the outside walls. The team have already arranged to return to the property in order to move this spirit on so that both she and the tenants can finally find peace. <laughs>